Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an empty video and I am filming in a different location because I got a ring light, you guys. Finally, <laughs> after I've been on YouTube, what, six years? Finally, I got a ring light. It's just hard um, because I've been very busy, you guys know, with my training and then it gets dark really early and now I have my Christmas tree and it's in front of that window that I usually film in. So. Um, I was at Marshall's the other day buying a gift for a secret Santa thing at work and I saw a ring light for 20 bucks so I was like what the heck let me let me get it and see if it works so this is the first time I'm filming with it so excuse the lighting if it looks terrible it's my first time trying it I have it it has like a bright white an off-white and kind of like a blue light so I'm using the off-white one and then I had to bring down the brightness a little bit so hopefully it's okay i feel like it's kind of dark up here i don't know well i'll be playing with it this is the very first time like i said that i'm using it uh but i'm excited to be able to now film really at any time of the day or night or whatever because now i have the ring light so it's gonna be hopefully helping me be a little bit more consistent during these times of the year when it gets darker earlier and i run out of natural lighting so anyway let's get started so i'm going to start my monthly empties of course with my non project pan makeup items and i do have quite a bit of uh, items this this um month so uh the first two i'm going to talk about are, are two mascaras they're both full sized they're one is from maybelline and the one is from the other one is from l'oreal and the l'oreal one is the voluminous carbon black this has a cult following a lot of people swear by it and i really really enjoyed it it just i felt like it dried out really fast um, this is what the wand looks like. It's a, I guess it's the natural bristle wand. You can see my eyelashes on the top <laughs> right here. Um, but I feel like this one dried out really quickly. Or maybe it, it, it's a drier formula to begin with. But maybe after a, about two months, um, I do use a lash primer. You guys know that. Um, I could see the, the primer getting stuck to the wand. And that's how I know that this is dry. Because naturally or normally the product would coat the white stuff and now it's it's dry that it picks up the picks up the the white of the primer and that's how i know that this is going off so i finished it i enjoyed it it gave, gave me a really nice curl not so much length but I, I really did notice that it gave me some volume so i like that and the other one is from maybelline this is the maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara i really enjoyed this one as well However, this one I had an issue with the stopper. Can you guys see? Hopefully you guys can see the stopper keeps coming out. I don't know if this is a like a faulty um, packaging, but yeah, I, this comes out and it dried out the mascara so much, so fast because I this was like done. I don't know if you guys can, if we'll be able to tell. I'm gonna try to like film an insert here but like I can see like <laughs> through the packaging like I can see that I scraped out all the product my goodness you can see quite a bit so I'm gonna try to film an insert so you guys can see it so I did use it a lot but also I feel like it dried super fast and I think it's because of that see I pushed it in before I I, I put the wand back in there when I take it out it comes out so I think it just it got a lot of air in here I would buy it again um, just to see if there's an issue with the stopper again uh, if I do buy another one and I have the same issue then it's the product um, the packaging and I wouldn't buy it out anymore after that then I have a powder a loose powder this is from Laura Mercier the translucent loose setting powder this is a deluxe size sample this had five grams of product I use it all up as you guys can see, I removed the sifter. I love this powder. I use this mainly to set under my eye and I enjoyed it. I have several more uh, of these samples and I think I might even have a full size. I don't know. Or maybe a travel size. I don't know. But we'll we'll see. Uh, but I would definitely, I would consider buying that again. Then I have three products that were in my products I want to use up in 2022. I already filmed the finale for these products, but I ended up finishing them. So that's yay for me <laughs> the first thing is this um lip balm from my old job and as you guys can see i used it all up my lips have been super super dry and chapped and nasty 
this didn't do much to heal them but um it was nice to rehydrate them and yes i i had mentioned a few months ago that i was using this as a cuticle cream because i was afraid i wasn't going to finish it but now that it got cold all of a sudden my lips have been really really dry i've been applying this multiple times a day instead of just the one time before i went to bed so um it was fine i can't get it anymore because it's from an old job then i used up my becca um vanilla quartz shimmering skin perfecter as you guys can see this is all done this is just pen and yeah I have plenty of little ones and a palette that has this color in there so I have plenty more to use and the product that I'm most excited that I have finished is the Anastasia Aurora glow kit I finished it you guys oh look at this look at all this shiny pen oh, I am so happy <laughs> um, if you guys watched the finale for my products I want to pan in 2022 you guys would have seen that I had uh, half of the pen on Spectra that I still had product on. I was planning on making it into a Franken blush because I had used the other, like I had used this to Franken some other shades, I think for like um, eyeshadows and stuff, uh, even a bronzer at one point. And I was like, I, I didn't finish half the pen. Like this is gonna roll over to 2023. I'm so bummed, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody in the comments was like, how come you don't apply it to your lotion? Now I don't, I'm not really someone who applies highlighter to lotions, uh, just because I personally don't like having the glittery look on your skin. Uh, that's not the thing for me. But I was so desperate that I was like, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> and so I added it to one of the lotions that I have and I, I, I made it a purpose to use that lotion only on my legs so I wouldn't have like the sparkly stuff. I know I was kind of like high maintenance having two lotions, <laughs> one for my arms and the other one for the rest of my body. But hey, I finished it and that's all that matters. And I think from now on, if there's a highlighter that I'm really close to finishing and I'm in a, a really in a pickle, I'll just add it to the lotion. I mean, if it's going to help me go through product, why not, right? So I'm super excited. I can add this to my palette my products i used up in 2022 and this was a gift this had been a gift from joy from joyful beauty she no longer makes videos but she did send this to me she had um decluttered some stuff to me and this was one of them and i'm glad that i finished it so i got her money's worth <laughs> and yeah this these two shades had been finished in previous years so i'm happy about that so that's all i have for makeup -y stuff now let's head on over to the big bag over here and share you, with you guys the rest of the like day-to-day -day products that I use. Uh, that's not the word I was looking for, but whatever. The first thing that I pulled out here is this body wash. This is from Kopari, the coconut latte body wash. And this smells like the suave coconut shampoo. Uh, I did buy this at Marshalls for $6.99. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I don't know how what the normal price for this. This is $12, but the compare price from the Marshall stickers is usually lower than the retail price. Price So maybe this was maybe around $18, maybe. Um, anyway, like I said, this smelled like that coconut shampoo from Suave, which brought um, memories from when I was a kid because that's like the only scent that my parents would buy when we were little. Like I would always go to like my cousin's house and they would have like, like fruity i remember my one time my cousin had this like green apple and i loved that scent and i was like how come we have to have the boring scents <laughs> anyway um i liked it this had like uh, it also has like coffee i think yeah coffee and macadamia um macadamia nut oil and it did have like like little brown particles i don't know if you guys can see uh they weren't like really scrubby um it, they were just there so i liked it if i found it again at marshall's i would buy it but it's not something that i would buy in the full size and speaking of body wash i used up another sponge of the i don't know what these are called but these are when they're new they are right now it's just a sponge that i can just easily collapse into like really small but usually these are like infused with soap these are hard like hard you can't squeeze them at all uh, but as you're using them and as you they're, they're getting wet you start like melting the the soap like the bar soap and then um it starts becoming more like pliable i guess you can say squishy and until you it doesn't no it, it no longer foams up or lathers and that's how you know that this is done so you could technically still keep using the 
the sponge and just add like your own body wash because it does have like a it's a sponge and then this is kind of like an exfoliating scrubby particle it's not super harsh harsh on your skin i really enjoyed it um this is nice so very nice for when you travel that way you don't have to worry about tsa rules and stuff and uh having to carry less containers so um perfect i loved it i can't remember the brand i did buy this at marshall's and if i was traveling again or if i needed to have something easy to have in the shower one step and done one step and done one and done <laughs> yeah, i would consider buying this again i used up a lotion this is from nivea this is the cherry blossom also at marshall's <laughs> this empties is brought to you by marshall's <laughs> not sponsored um, but this is the lotion that i added the little you guys can see maybe a little bit of the of the highlighter there oh there you go can you see um yeah this is what what the lotion that i mixed it to this smells really nice if i bought this if i saw this again at marshall's i would definitely buy it even if i, if I buy it as a backup um i think this is great and i loved it i have been really loving nivea products i used to never use them but um maybe about a year ago i discovered that the hand cream it comes like in a blue it's not a hand cream but i use it as hand cream it comes in a in a dark navy blue like glass jar tub um, I love that and ever since then I became obsessed with Nivea products. I think they're really good. I have two makeup remover products. The first one is from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off makeup remover. It comes with like two, like the oil layer and like the water layer, I guess you can say. Uh, you mix it up and then so you take it off. This was nice. I already have another one that I bought at Marshalls. <laughs> I love Marshalls, can you guys tell? Um, yeah it's they're going and kicking the reason why i use this up is because i was using this this is the belief cleansing gel um i see with the ring light it's like can you guys see kind of sort of this is what it looks like it's an oil you pump it out this did not remove my waterproof mascara unfortunately uh everything else came off fine uh, but this unfortunately it just didn't work i i <laughs> I'm sorry I'm talking bad about you. Uh, but this guy, whenever I rinsed my face, even after using um, soap, like it would leave like black stuff on my eyelashes. I didn't, did not, this, this did not remove everything. Um, so I had to go with a makeup remover just because I didn't want to go with a makeup wipe just for my eyes. Uh, so I had to go with the makeup remover to remove the residue that was left. And there was a ton, like the, the cotton pad would be, like a huge dark line from where it would get i would try to get it from between my eyelashes so i would not recommend this one it does not remove all the makeup maybe if you use just regular mascara this would work fine oh and then when i used eyelash primer forget it this did not melt the eyelash primer um i had to like really really do this uh like twist the eyelashes in between my fingers and it's just yeah it's not worth it i'm currently using one from uh, it cosmetics and I love it. It's really good. So would not repurchase would repurchase. I actually have one already some mundane day-to-day -day stuff I used up two saline solutions finally the dupe for the um, Clear care. I finally was able to stock on the real stuff. This doesn't do quite as good as a clear care hydrogen peroxide uh, contact rinse, so I bought it because I, I like the the scent the I like how it cleans it, but it doesn't do as good a job as the brand one. And then this is just regular saline solution. Regular saline solution is the same, whether it's brand or the store brand. So I'll just keep buying the off brand. So that doesn't really matter to me when, when it comes to regular saline. Then I used up the Colgate uh, cavity protection. This is my favorite, favorite um, toothpaste brand. So I used that one up. And then of course, my big guy of the Listerine Cool Mint. This is the liter and a half. You guys, I know inflation is affecting everybody and I am more than blessed to not be struggling with inflation, but I'm still shocked at, like I'm still sticker shocked at some things. Like this container is $10 now, $10. Holy cow, I used to buy this for like $7. Um, and then I would always have a coupon and I'd be able to like come and bring it down to like five fifty or six dollars, but ten dollars and I haven't seen a coupon around sending the mail or anything, so like I I mean I can still afford it, don't get me wrong, but it's still ten dollars. 
ten dollars for this <laughs> i can't get over it oh boy uh let's see i colored my hair this month this is the hair dye that i use the l'oreal excellence cream in the color number four dark brown and this does a really good job at mac at, at matching my natural hair color and uh covering up my grays so i will continue to use it it was an ibotta deal on that a few months ago uh, and they came out to five dollars a piece and i bought three boxes so i already have two backups so that was one of the three and then you guys know i am training a lot for my race uh coming up and so i am going through a lot of bath stuff this is the dr salts wellness solution muscle epsom salt epsom bath salts with eucalyptus and ginger i really love this i got a ton of baths because it's really concentrated so you didn't need to put a lot on in it i think i got like five baths out of this it doesn't smell like anything but this had um actually the salts were in the bag within this so i got about five baths i really enjoyed them marshall's 6.99 <laughs> so that's that one and then also another thing that i got at marshall's was this bag of Shis shiseido cotton now i don't really ever share like the cottons uh cotton swabs that i buy but I bought this at Marshalls for uh, $7.99 and this was the only bag that was marked at $7.99. Everything else was marked at $8.99 and this one was marked at $7.99. So I don't know why. It's not like it was on clearance. It's a regular sticker. So I looked through all of them and this was the only one. So I bought the one that was marked wrong and yay for me i still have like a few left but i i empty it out into a, a, another container so i'm still on the lookout sometimes they have like the the single one it's just one row. i think it's 40 for a dollar on clearance so i'm always like keeping my an eye out for those i used up this lola cleansing wipes they are like like i guess not feminine it, like anybody can use these they're like to help wipe yourself uh, to clean yourself, but um, I bought these back in March for when I went to Europe just because I wasn't sure about how the toilet paper was situation was gonna be, you know, in public places and stuff. So I always like to travel with a pack of like uh, hygienic wipes just, just in case to be safe. Uh, but actually there was no issues with, you know, running into toilet paper. And um, these, I bought these because they were on an Ibotta, Ibotta deal as well. So they were super cheap. Um, I enjoyed them, but they were actually getting kind of dry. So I was just like, let me just use them now, um, just so I can get my money's worth, because they were kind of pricey, even though they were on sale with, on Ibotta. So um, yeah, I wouldn't buy them again. I actually got a little box from, I don't I don't remember the brand, but it, it came in an Ulta goodie bag, and it comes with like seven individually wrapped wipes. So. I will be having those in my little hy hygiene bag in my purse um, instead of having to carry that big, big bulky packaging. I have, I went through one um, facial moisturizer and it's from Origins, the Ginseng Oil-Free Energizing Booster Gel Moisturizer. I lost a little cap here and I know it looks like I have product here, but there's really nothing in there. Like I cannot squeeze any anything else out of here. Like you guys can see I'm squeezing there is <laughs> a little bit but yeah there's nothing here i enjoyed it i mean i don't think it's something i would buy in the full size but it worked nice then i have this hand lotion that's in a kind of like an aluminum container tube thing this is from uh, grown alchemist i think it's the brand it's the intensive hand cream excuse me with persian rose an argan extract i did not like this this smelled i hate to say it like an old lady uh and it did not moisturize my hands at all would not recommend do not buy i would not repurchase now i am get i am getting rid of two uh skincare products which i am a, i am completely um what's the word shocked uh because like nothing ever irritates my skin nothing ever like I don't ever have issues with skincare um but these two products unfortunately kind of did a number on my skin the first thing that i'm throwing away is this mad hippie advanced skincare vitamin a serum with hpr i don't know what that is and sodium 
hyaluronate. So I used up about half of this, uh, but this started breaking me out super, super bad. Like I was using this twice a week because um, it says here to try it every other night. So maybe I was using it three times a week, um, but it started breaking me out like huge, like white heads. Like I thought at first, it, I thought it was like hormones because it was around the time I was gonna start my period. So I thought it was like the regular hormonal breakouts, um, but they just would not stop. It would not go away. So then I stopped using this one and they kind of went away. Like they started going away. I even tried using the um, Murad Acne Line. That's a miracle line for me. When I'm having my hormonal breakouts, uh, that really helps bring them, you know, under control. Ooh, sorry. That really he helps to bring them now i feel like this is crooked it brings it under control and even when using the murad stuff the, it would not control my breakouts from this thing so i stopped using it because i was like what else could it possibly be that's making me break out so i figured it was this one so i stopped once i stopped i stopped getting the whiteheads so that's why i'm getting rid of this one then when i was using that one my other serum was another one from uh, a brand that I really love and it's from Alginist, the Blue Algae Vitamin C Skin Clarity Brightening Serum. And this guy, not only was it breaking me up, but it was giving me a lot of blackheads, like bumpy blackheads. And, and like I would, I'm sorry if it's gross, but I would play, what do you call I would pick at them and uh, a ton of blackheads. And again, once I stopped, like I was like, it's either this or that. So, because I was using them at the same time. So I stopped using this one. The whiteheads went away. I was like, okay, it was this one. So I continued using this one. And I noticed that the whiteheads were gone, but the bumpiness on my skin and the blackheads were still there. So I was like, maybe it's still this one. So then I stopped using this one. And surely but sure, slowly but surely, um, my skin finally came back to normal and even I, I bring my skincare down to my neck and even my neck I had pimples here and here look I think I still have like a little scar from one that I had um, It was just chaos on my skin and I, I even stopped wearing makeup at some point I was like what is happening and my friend from work was like yeah I noticed your like breakouts but I didn't want to say anything and I was like yes dude I'm like struggling <laughs> so uh, finally yeah, I stopped using these two and that's what and i stopped using these two and i continued using that murad acne line um and then finally it started going away so i'm almost out of the woods i still have a little bit of, of like um scarring here from the breakouts that i have because i can't help but pick at them guys i'm sorry i know you're not supposed to but my forehead is pretty clean now uh it's just this area right here and then around my chin that i have like some scars from where i had the 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 breakout so unfortunately this were a no-go for me they did not work for me and i'm really sad because i love the serums i've used two different serums from alginist and they've been great but they've been um the oh my gosh what's the line i want to say genifique but that's from lancome <laughs> i can't remember but uh it's a white container um uh, it's like the anti-aging one anyway um yeah so throwing this away and then last but not least, I have uh, some home fragrance stuff. I used up two of the plugins from Airwick. They're both in the scent fresh water. Now that it's, you know, cold and we're getting into the holidays, I'm burning more like holiday -y scents. So these, um, I, I still have more, you know, in my back stock, but um, more like seasonal appropriate type scents. And then this one I had in the restroom. I feel like this is done. Like I can, I can smell it, but I feel like it doesn't give off the scent as it's supposed to. It says it, it lasts from 90, 60 to 90 days, but I don't remember when I put this. This was in the guest bathroom. I bought this on Marshalls <laughs> on clearance for $2. Um, it, the bathroom never smelled like this, but uh, it never smelled bad. So I guess it did neutralize the odors. So it's not like a very offensive scent. So um, I like it. I have purchased another one that I have put in the guest bath and... Um, I mean, it does the job. It keeps the bathroom from being stinky. So um, that's all I have you guys for you guys for this month's empty. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope the lighting was okay. If it's too bright or too weird, I'll try to fix it in post-production. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to be playing with this one. So um, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.